What is the dumbest argument you've ever been in with an ex? I owe you $80 for the bills of ours that you pay. You owe me $40 for the bills of ours that I paid. Here's $40 in cash or even. She did not understand this. I literally had to go get another $40 out of the ATM and hand the $80 to her. Then I had her hand me the $40 she owed me. Now, how much do you have in your hand? She still didn't understand. She somehow has a college degree. My ex declared she wasn't going to eat anything bigger than a chicken. Weird low effort variation of vegetarianism or excuse to pander to her disordered eating? Who knows? While eating a tuna sandwich. My wife and I once argued over whether or not I liked mustard on my hot dog. I was for me liking mustard. She was against me liking mustard. The argument lasted way longer than you could ever imagine it would. A 70-year-old woman thought that hurricanes are named according to their gender identity. She thought they were male or female. She was right. Females rotate clockwise because women are always right. Males rotate counterclockwise because men are always wrong. My boyfriend insisted that when two people are in an argument and one makes a point so reasonable and logical that the other one can't disagree with it, it's unfair. I tried logically and reasonably to explain several times why that is just winning the argument and completely fair. His answer was that I was being unfair. My former classmate couldn't comprehend the fact that Asians don't speak Asian. I once had to argue with a woman in my life as a cashier if I was Jewish or not. She didn't ask me, she was telling me, and got upset when I said otherwise. My brother and I argued if our staircase had 13 or 14 steps based on an argument about if the floor of the second floor counts as a stair step or not. We still have no solution. Someone tried to fight with me over how to spell my name. Now, my name is in a lot of languages with slightly different spellings. I would have accepted any of those spellings, but this one was not, not even close. It didn't make any logical sense. An analogous example is if my name was Thomas and someone was insisting it was spelled Tomas. And not just the name Thomas in general, but that me on my birth certificate was named Tomash. I swear to God, it went on for like an hour. I worked for a company that made signs. We had a customer ask for signs that were seven millimeters wide that would go on a door. Our sign makers figured the order meant inches because seven millimeters is pretty small, so made them seven inches. I got a phone call from the customer who was mad at me for making them the wrong size, so I put in a reorder for seven millimeters. Argued with the sign makers over it, but they eventually agreed to do it after I showed them the order in writing. I even had the customer put her complaint in writing, reiterating the size they wanted. Seven millimeter signs went out, and a day later I get the customer on the phone, literally screaming at me. Cue the dumb argument. We ended up having an argument over how big a millimeter is. And obviously everyone in the office was laughing, but this customer just wouldn't accept it and said we must be using a non-standard ruler to measure. Ended up being escalating to the sales department manager who refused to issue a refund. Someone told me Brexit was about England leaving the UK with a woman who claimed that negative two was less than negative five because when talking about temperature, minus five is more cold. What's that even supposed to mean? The lady just got confused by her own verbiage. She's thinking that because negative five is more cold, that it must be more than negative two, thus making negative two the lesser number. When discussing positive numbers, this context works. Five is more than two after all. On some level, I think she understands negatives just fine. She probably got herself confused and was just too stubborn to admit it. If she had just changed up her verbiage, then she might have known better. So instead of saying more cold, if she just went with colder, as in negative five is colder than negative two, then she would probably have realized immediately that negative five was the lower number. I remember when I was about 13, my parents had an hour long shouting match that ended with them almost getting divorced. The issue, whether or not the nation of Iraq has a coastline. Edit. Wow, I didn't expect this comment to get so much attention. And for all those wondering, it was my mother arguing that Iraq had a coastline while my stepdad argued that it did not. This was back in 2004 and they are still quite happily married to this day. That incident is something they look back on and laugh about and both of them admit it was a pretty stupid thing to argue over. I once had a nice little debate with someone over whether or not ducks were birds. I said that ducks are birds 
The other person said that ducks are not birds because they're ducks. That one lasted a while. What's the dumbest argument you've ever been in? Leave it in the comments below and see you soon.